In an interview to the media, the chairman of Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said that the shipyard is in talks with the National Security Advisor of Brazil, as the Brazilian Navy is seeking Indian assistance towards the maintenance of its four Scorpion diesel electric submarines. He also informed that the shipyard is also in discussions with the Malaysian government for a complete maintenance package for their two Scorpion submarines locally in Malaysia. He also said that the shipyard has also held discussions with the French government to build frigates and destroyers for the French Navy that will have similar quality and will be delivered in similar time frame like the French shipyards but will cost 25% cheaper and the French government is currently examining the offer. He also added that the shipyard is also engaged in discussions with the Tanzanian government and Zvezda shipyard of Russia to explore feasibility of an export order to Tanzania. The chairman of Larsen and Tubro Defense has said that L and T's Schuderson 40mm air defense gun has emerged as the L1 lowest bidder for the Indian Air Force contract for about 240 air defense guns, and the contract will be signed soon. There is also an identical requirement for air defense guns by the Indian Army, under which 220 air defense guns will be ordered in the first phase, and the second phase order will be much larger. The chairman of Larsen and Tubro Defense has said that the LNT DRDO co developed Zarawa light tank is not based on the chassis of the South Korean K 9 Vajra Howitzer and is using a new design based on the next generation main battle tank provided by the DRDO, and the company is confident to roll out the first prototype in mid 2023. He also said that Larsen and Tubro will showcase a model of an in-house designed and developed submarine at the Defense Expo 2022, which is likely the 400-ton midget submarine known as SOV-400, that has been offered to the Indian Navy and several Asian countries. The Indian Air Force is looking to procure 100 micro unmanned aerial vehicles, out of which 40 micro UAVs will be for day and night surveillance operations at high altitude locations, and the remaining 60 micro UAVs for surveillance operations at various air bases. It must have a mission range of at least 12 kilometers and an endurance of one hour, and must detect humans and vehicles at 300 meters and 500 meters respectively. It should be capable of autonomous vertical takeoff and landing, fully autonomous mode, real-time target tracking, loiter mode over the target area and return home mode, and there must be no audible noise at ground level when flying at 300 meters. The first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant has started the process of integration with the Western Fleet of the Indian Navy. INS Vikrant will undertake a series of carrier task force integration drills and evolutions in a multi-threat exercise environment over the next few weeks. The core of integration will include flight trials to ensure that MiG-29K fighters can operate smoothly under all weather conditions from the deck of INS Vikrant. According to media reports, China might supply its GJ-11 stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicles to Pakistan by 2028, in order to counter India's upcoming Ghatak stealth unmanned combat air vehicle. The GJ-11 will be capable to conduct aerial reconnaissance and combat missions, and will have a range of 4,000 km, service ceiling of 12,500 meters, and cruise speed of 1,000 km per hour. Pakistan and South Korea have signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Defense Industry and Logistics Cooperation. The MOU would provide solid legal framework for enhancing defense cooperation between the armed forces, and both sides also agreed on the need to expand cooperation in military training exchanges, and conduct more visits for promotion of defense ties. Pakistan has also sought South Korean help to upgrade its arms manufacturing plant. Thank <laughs> you.